Okay, so trading view and saving charts. It can be very problematic, and there are accounts that no matter you know what you do, your charts will not save or will not stay safe, or it's very sporadic and it will do it when it wants. It will save it when it wants. You close your laptop, and then the next time you open it, the charts are gone. Okay, regardless of whether you've got auto save on or not, sometimes for some people, for whatever reason, it just doesn't work. Okay, and I don't think Trading View know the answer because I fought it for months, uh, and I've got you know a couple of guys with the same issue. So what I used to do is I used to like I just had all the forex pairs down here, and I just stuck, uh, put a flag on the ones I was watching, and I'll go in and I'd expect that chart to be uh, up to date, but. A lot of the time, it just didn't work. Oh, it just didn't work. Okay, so if you've upgraded to TradingView Pro Plus or Plus or Premium, okay, you you've got the charts layout tool. Okay, so if you look at the plans and features, you know, with the Pro, you get four, uh, two charts per layout. With Pro Plus, you get four. With Premium, you get eight. Okay, so I'm on Premium, so I get eight charts per layout, and I also get an unlimited amount. Of chart layouts, it's a, it's a brilliant tool. Actually, it must admit, it's a brilliant tool. On the Pro Plus, you get four charts per layout. You get <coughs> ten save layouts. So that's enough to cover most, you know, the, the best uh, forex pairs that you trade, for instance. Okay, and consistently have them in a chart layout. So, you know, a chart layout is, you know, this interface here, this little uh, square in the bottom right hand corner to uh, minimize and maximize your chart layout. So if I come out of UCAD, you know, you can see I've got eight charts on here. Yeah, so that's eight charts on this layout, which happens to be greenback, as you can see by the text here. Okay, so this is um, the only way I've ever managed to actually keep my chart saved, and, and they've never disappeared. Since, since I start, started using charting layouts uh, about a year ago, you know, the charts have never disappeared unless I've removed stuff myself. Yeah, so how to do it, okay, if, if you want to make an, a new chart layout, all you have to do, okay, all you have to do is press the little arrow and press new chart layout, and then it'll just load up a new screen, yeah, and this one loads up CAD Yen for whatever reason, okay. <coughs> now, you know, it doesn't look like a chart layout at this point, because it's not okay it's just a chart so you need to build this chart layout and the way to do that is you, you can select okay the little box up here and if you're on Plo plus okay you get four four charts per layout okay so you know there's the four number pick one you want to use okay, so I always go for the squares like this and then you can customize these however you want and you can text in the, each interface to change pairs and change time frames, for instance, okay? I don't want four, you know, you, you can do it like this. You can say, okay, CAD Yen, four hour. Uh, let's change this to the 1D, just type it in. Change this to the 60 minutes, type it in, 15 minutes. Yeah, so you can look at the same setup on, on a, four different time frames on the same screen if you want, okay? And yeah, that's that's not what I do. Okay, but if you did want to do that, then you could uh, <laughs> synchronize a symbol. Okay, synchronize a symbol, and you know they'd keep the symbols the same, and you could adjust the time frames as necessary. But you can adjust the uh, synchronize the interval, and that's that's usually what I do. So if I press that, they've all changed to fifteen minutes now. And you know what I'll do is I'll have my like my four favorite pairs on here. So let's have your USD for instance. Okay, just type it in. In the box, you don't have to go up to the top corner all the time, and then uh, GJ for argument's sake, and let's say go GBP as well. Unfortunately, I can't type. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you have that option. Okay, you can also synchronize across here. Um, there's more, more to do with uh, having four of the same chart. On there with different time frames because then you can pinpoint exactly where you are on each chart at the same time uh, okay so that's quite useful but uh, when it comes to saving it you know the, it, it should automatically save anyway but what what you need to do is you just rename it okay auto saves on yeah you can press save now okay but you want to rename this first okay so let's call this random and save it 
Yeah. The little tick, okay, should tell you that the layout saved or the chart saved, all right? And that's it, okay? Ne next time you come into TradingView, it should be there. And I, I know it, it fundamentally doesn't seem like you're doing anything different to what you were doing before with, with this, okay? But uh, this autosave function, um, you know, it might, it might just be relevant to the chart layouts that are saved. Yeah, so if you create a new one, Okay, and then rename it. Yeah, every time you come to load the charts, you won't be able to go from here. Okay, it, it won't do it. You have to go to your charts layout and go to load, not new. Okay, and go to load. Yeah, so for instance, you know, I've got one for the greenback, commodities, and crypto, the pound, the Aussie dollar, the loony, the Toblerone, which I call the Swissy, uh, the euro pairs, the yen, some Renko pairs, some indexes, and some others. Yeah, so I've got lots of chart layouts. I think this is the best, best way to do it. And it, it's the way that consistently uh, saves you know, your, your charts. So it, it's definitely a worth a go. If you're having issues saving charts, then you know, it's definitely something you can look at. Okay, thanks.